Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here. Today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP Vienna Edition in VirtualBox or VMware. This was kind of an odd one I uh, saw suggested that I should do. Um, so uh, it's kind of like a, it's not really a beta, I don't know if it's really a beta build of uh, lo like Longhorn or anything. I think it's just a version of X XP that has a different skin and a couple other additions to it, but it does have the Longhorn sounds on it, so that's why I'm a little confused on it. So um, so this one was a kind of a shocker to me about that. I've never really heard of it before. I mean, I've heard of it, but I've never really tried it or seen anything about it. Um, like, I've heard the code name of Vienna, but like I just never heard of the Windows XP edition. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, you're going to need either VirtualBox or VMware. VirtualBox here, VMware, you would scroll down and find uh, either one of these down here that you want. WinRAR you will need as well for the ISO file. And um, then when you get that, uh, you want to create a new machine. Windows XP VN Edition, I'm just going to leave it at 32-bit. I don't know if it's a 64 or 32-bit operating system, so I'm just going to leave it at... You know, mm, I'm gonna put it at 64 bit. Let's give that a try. It should work. I'm gonna bump up the RAM just a little bit. Hit next. And we're gonna create a virtual hard drive. Hit settings, uh, storage, and then go find the ISO file, which mine is here. Hit OK, and then start the machine. And then when it starts up, so to do a good old basic Windows XP setup. It's going to go through loading all the files down there. And once it loads up, you will get to the, uh, I think it's the hard drive format screen. Maybe a couple things before that. Oh, no, here we go. So we're right into the um, formatting screen. Go ahead and enter, and go up to NTFS file system quick. Hit enter. It's going to format your drive real quick. And then it's going to examine the disk, and then it's going to go through the process of copying the files. And this can take some time, so you're just going to have to let this sit. So I'll be back once this is finished. Alright, so once it gets finished, it's going to do a quick initialization of the configuration. And then we'll go into the uh, first restart on here. And then we will get into the uh, GUI interface part of the setup. So we're waiting for the restart point here. Sometimes, well, it's loading some information, as you can see. And it's saving it now, and there we go. It's going to restart. And don't press any key to boot from CD or DVD. I just leave it in just in case it still needs it. I made that mistake, I believe it was with Windows 95, maybe? Something like that. And then it will load up into this GUI interface. And as you can see, it says Vienna Concept right there. And it has a different background. So now you're just going to let it load. I'll be with you guys once we hit a screen. Okay, so to reset, do not press any key. And now we'll go into the other part of the setup. As you can see, it does not say Windows XP on that loading screen, so it's more like the Vista type of loading screen, or boot screen, if you get what I'm saying. But it will display the Windows XP type setup right there, as you can see. So it's going to improve the screen resolution. Just hit OK. It'll get a little bit bigger, and then hit OK again. And then, I don't know if there's audio, there might, I don't know, I don't think the song plays, but I think there's audio. Okay, it played this time. So 
So it says, Welcome to Microsoft Windows. Thank you for purchasing Microsoft XP. Let's spend a few minutes to set up your computer. Hit next. If you're going to be one of these, I'm just going to hit automatic. Hit next. And then, I don't, the last time I installed this, it did like a reboot when it was trying to log me in, and then it logged me in the second time, so. The thing is, it has the longhorn sounds, but the only one that I have seen that it doesn't have is the starting sound, and it's just like a little click. But if I log off and log on, you'll see what I'm talking about. So it'll load a little bit and it'll try and load some things so it will restart while it's doing this so just let it sit and if it restarts it does so I'll just be back with you guys once it's finished okay so I had to re-record the last bit of it um, after uh, it restarts to go and do uh, the user um, or after it restarts from setting up everything it'll restart again and uh, it will log you in this time so I'm kinda just simulating what will happen there'll be some loading screens up on the top left unlike how this is gonna go it's just gonna straight log me in and the startup sound is actually just a little click so you should be able to hear it right here there it is right there so there it is and here is Windows XP Vienna edition it'll load a couple other things but while it's doing that I'm just gonna address this uh, that's the tutorial thank you guys for watching like the video if this uh, helped you out and uh, comment your ideas down below share this so others can see it and do not forget to subscribe more videos coming for you guys thank you for watching again and see you guys in the next video